the amount needed plus the budgeted Indian inventory. And of course you could copy and paste this. I'm just going to calculate it three times so we can see it. September, we want the 10,002. That's how much is needed plus how much we want in the cushion for Indian inventory. So that would give us the total material requirements. That's what we're going to need. For example, for July, we're going to need 14,793 in materials in order to make the production. You might think, well, that should be it. But it would be it if we uh, were starting from scratch there. However, this is not our first month of operations. Therefore, we probably have some materials left over from last month. So in, in terms of now we're going to have to think about, well, what was in there last month and, um, and to pull that out. So if this is what we need to have, then what do we already have? We're going to subtract that out. Now for this one, let's first think about August. August we can think about because we're going to say, well, uh, we're going to subtract out the beginning inventory for August it must be the ending inventory for July. So we just said that we wanted to end up with 5,000 in ending inventory. That's our plan. Therefore, the beginning inventory for August will equal that 5,000. And of course, the same is true for September, the, the last month in our quarter, we're going to say, well, uh, if August is going to end with 5,125, then September is going to begin with the 5,125. And then, of course, we have this same issue where, well, what about July? Because we're only working on this quarter. So once again, the problem is going to have to give us that in some format. In this case, they give us the number right here. So we're going to say in July, it's going to be 4925. So we can subtract that out now. So now we're going to say, well, this is how many units that uh, are required in units, not dollars. And we're going to say minus what we already have. That means that we're going to uh, create or produce materials to be to be purchased. As <laughs> we're going to buy these things. It's going to be 9,863. We're going to have to buy the materials, obviously. And this is going to be the uh, 15. That's how many that uh, are going to be needed. This is how many 5,000 that we plan to have on hand at the beginning. Therefore, we're going to have to purchase another 10,125. And in September, this is how many are needed minus the amount that we plan to have on hand. That means we're going to have to purchase 9,125. So now we could add these across. I'm going to come over here to the total and add those total units up by saying SUM of the units that we need to purchase of the 9,868, the 10,125, the 9,125. That will give us the 29,118. And so that's how many units we're going to have. We are, of course, going to have to pay dollars for these. So in this case, we're going to have to find out, well, how much is it going to cost per unit? And uh, again, this could vary a lot depending on the types of units, of course, that we're, that we're looking at here. In this case, if we scroll down, we're going, to, we're going to need to find that, of course, in the problem somewhere. And in this case, we're going to say that the cost per unit is uh, 21, $21 per unit. So this in terms of dollars, that's how many units we're going to have. We're going to spend $21 per unit. And we're going to put that all the way across. Therefore, uh, we're going to multiply that out, of course. We have the number of units that we're going to have times the dollars per unit have. So we're going to spend in dollars. And, and we could put the dollar signs down here as well. So I could uh, make this a dollar sign type of cell like this. And format it like so. I'm going to get rid of the decimals. And then uh, I'm going to format paint that all the way across so these are dollars now that we're talking about and, and again you could copy and paste this across i'm just going to do the calculations so we can see them so we're going to take the materials uh, that are going to be needed times the number of dollars for those materials per unit and that's the amount of dollars we're going to spend and then of course we do the same thing for september units needed times the dollars cost per unit and then if we want to do the total we could add them up this way which would give us the uh, 611 474 and we also should be able to add it up this way or multiply it out this way the total units and that should also give us the one uh six four eleven four seventy four and that will of course be the total cost of direct material purchases so remember how you want to think about this basically you want to think about how many units we're going uh to need to produce then uh, you want to think about how much we want to have in ending inventory for a cushion. That'll give us the units that we're going to need to have on hand. Then we want to subtract out from that the amount of materials already on hand. And that'll give us how many we need to buy. And then we just multiply that unit times the unit price to give us how much it's actually going to cost for these units.